The more I eat, the more excited I get until I realize there's not a lot left. I think this is love. This is real love right here. If I die and my wife doesn't eat my ashes, she wasn't my wife. Ladies and gentlemen, this is woman addicted to eating her husband's ashes. My name is Casey. I'm 26 years old. I'm from Fayetteville, Tennessee. And I'm addicted to carrying around my husband's urn. What's so wrong with that? See, right now it's not weird. She no. just want to keep her husband with her. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? that's why like emotional support. And she's just like, I'm my husband here with me. <laughs> why not just keep the ashes at home? Because then I'd be tempted to eat them like she does. <laughs> <laughs> I take my husband everywhere, to the grocery store, shopping. Ooh, babe, look at that. That's me. See, I don't see that as a bad thing. Like, I think if I'm like, who's she talking to? And then I see her holding ashes, I'd be like, oh, a lot of people. She's use, crazy. Like, Anywhere I go, he goes. I sleep with him. This is more of like a sickness, an addiction. It's not her feeling that her loved one is lost and that she's trying to recreate that person being there. There's something not right up here. Well, no, I don't think so. It's not an addiction yet until she starts munching. Yeah, when she starts eating, that's when I'll be like, all right, weirdo. When I go grocery shopping, I buy the foods that he likes. When I cook, I cook what he likes. See, that's I don't cute. It, Honoring his memory. But I cook man. for him. If I'm watching TV, he's there with me. You wanna watch this? It's kind of funny. <laughs> Just a box. <laughs> Some people laugh. They think I'm playing, but it, I mean, it's serious. I'm, it's my husband. Casey. And he doesn't look happy. It's yeah. almost like he knew his ashes were gonna be eaten. Yeah, he's the. She bitch told him, "If you die, I'm eating your ashes." <laughs> he just told him. He's like, <laughs> yeah, she just told him that. Say cheese. <laughs> yes. Everything I had ever wanted in a man was right in front of me. And it felt so great. That's just adorable. Like, no, yeah. It is sad though. What's so sad about passing away? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> that is sad, bro. She was married to somebody, now he's dead. Oh, baby, I'm missing. Though Casey initially found comfort by having her husband's ashes at her side, her addiction has recently evolved. I guess with the transfer of his cremains, you know, some got into the cardboard box as well, and they spilled out on my hands. <laughs> Instead of washing them off, bro, you know she saw her fingers and was like, oh, dude. This shit looks like the, the white powdered donut. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't want to wipe, wipe them off, because that's my husband, I don't want to wipe him away. Um, so I just licked it off my fingers. Was that the actual ashes that they used? Probably. The They're probably like, so just go ahead and show us what you do. This is not real. This is fake. What is she eating? That's n bro. This is fake. This is so fake. She's eventually gonna run out. We've all been thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. You know how like alcoholics they need they, like they're addicted. They need more and more. I wonder if she has withdrawals. I wonder if she's gonna have a withdrawal when uh, that day does come. Bro, she's just gonna pick up fucking dirt off the street. She's gonna start burning people. And cremating other, people. She's gonna get other people's cremation. She's gonna work in the cremation workforce. I don't know what that's called. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna burn people and like, sorry, we weren't able to get all the ashes. She's gonna keep a sack full. Maybe it bro. doesn't. Have to be people's ashes. Maybe it could be like wood ashes. You know, like if you have no, a I think it's gotta be people. It's gotta be people, bro. I'm not saying it's gonna be the exact same. But it's like a, you know, like a nicotine patch, kind of to get her off of the human ashes. Oh, she's gonna wean her off. That's how you get off of the addiction. She's gonna basically like microdose off. <laughs> Don't try to change it now. <laughs> she's gonna wean her off. She's gonna wean her off of it. <laughs> I'm eating my husband. Yeah, she seems like she goes to town pretty often. But she also looks sad about it. I miss you. <laughs> I'm sorry. First, I like my finger. What did I tell you? How did I know? Yeah, like those little, um, you know, like those dust. Bun dip? The stick. Bun dip. Man, I, I used know to that snort shit that. Right now. And I don't just dip it in. I swirl around to kind of feel and get it caked on there good. And then I just eat it. That has to be illegal. <laughs> Why is it illegal though? Cannibalism? It's ash. It's a human body. The whole chemical makeup is different. Would that be considered cannibalism? No. I don't ash. care if it's illegal. She needs to be in jail. No, she's just <laughs> being she's just being quirky and silly. Hell nah. It's not <laughs> it tastes like rotten eggs, sand, and sandpaper. But I've grown to love that taste. Why is it like rotten eggs? She's grown to love it though. She take a shit in the bag. Why does it taste like rotten eggs? Like how do you film this? Were they just like, all right, now start eating it. I feel like she's not acting though. Yeah, she's being dead ass. I've lost 42 pounds since my husband passed away. Basically, the only thing I'm eating are his ashes. What a diet. <laughs> I know, right? That is a full on keto diet. When I open up the urn, I get a sense of happiness. It's like an adrenaline rush for me. She gets small bursts of dopamine. Bro, that shit got tastes like heaven. It's like a fucking meth addict, it's like bro. cocaine, bro. The more I eat, the more excited I get until I realize there's not a lot left. Then a few minutes later, 
<laughs> was gone. She's just is crying now. She's rocking back and forth. Is in she denial. is she crying about her husband's death or about her eating her husband? She's about to lose him forever, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's maybe, what it maybe is. Maybe a bit of both. From the crematory, he weighed six pounds. He is closer to five pounds now. Oh, oh. see, I told you You're it's gonna good. be a you while. Only ate, like what? Like the head? Maybe a finger or two? Like. <laughs> it's panicking me and it's uh, worrying me that she's losing reality even more. And I need to do what I need to help her get past that. The TV ain't even on, dude. <laughs> they turned the TV <laughs> and like, nothing's there. I have to stop eating him. I've lost him once. This time it'll be my fault that I lose him again. And I don't want to do that. And it's gonna to get to that point really soon if I don't get help. She was in pure bliss. Oh my God. Really soon if I don't get help. Nobody just makes that face. <laughs> like half of it's open. She wants to reveal the truth to her cousin, Stephanie, and ask for help. I'm feeling anxious a little bit, I'm nervous. I don't wanna lose the trust that we have. I'm ready to tell her and I'm ready to get it out. Uh, I have something to tell you, Stephanie. Oh no. I don't want you to freak out, and I don't want you to get mad, and I really don't want you to push me away and not talk to me anymore. If you're this person, what do you think you should I would, say? I would be like, I don't know. I don't know what I would expect her to say, but I don't think I would ever expect a person to say, I'm eating my husband's ashes. Yeah, that's the last thing on my mind. I, yeah. know, I know she said, I don't want you to like look at me differently, but I'm sorry, I'm looking at you differently. Whatever's about to come out of your mouth is gonna be the most vile thing anyone's yeah. ever heard. You know, she really needs help. Why is she going to the cousin, bro? Like, you need hospital. Well, that's probably, you know, the first step is admitting it to people. That is a good mm -hmm. point. That's a good point. No. First step is getting addicted. <laughs> <laughs> I've been eating his ashes. I, this is the most tame reaction, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even think that was her comprehending. I think she's like, okay, she's joking. Just, she's like, nah. Like, oh, it's really sunny now, isn't it, right? Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.